Hey guys, these are my collection of LEDs. They can come in all sorts of five different colours as so. They're just common standard LEDs, they're not like one of those bright ones. As you can see, that's not all the LEDs I have. These are all the basic cheap ones that you can get over three bucks for 15 of them. Okay, so LEDs come in many shapes and sizes. Right here I'm holding a 5mm LED and we have a 3mm LED. They're two different, the main different sizes, the common sizes that they come in. And they commonly, those types of ones come in four main different colours. These are the 3mm and those are the 5mm collections. So at, I've got a quantity of five of those. I've also got a lot of uh, red LEDs that I got from just like from a beginner pack or something like that. Anyway, the red LEDs are not that bright. They're just like all right and stuff like that but they're pretty good for notifications and stuff like that they're good to and this is a green LED it is a little bit brighter but not much there are a lot brighter LEDs than this so this is a three millimeter one as you can see and I'm also right over here I'm going to test out the five millimeter one the brightness is the same I'm comparing them with the two as you can see there's not much of a difference so yeah as you can see, like the red one is dimmer than the green one. Like I said, the green ones are a little bit brighter than the red ones. Okay, now I'm beginning to show you the other colors of the LED. So right now I'm holding a yellow one. So yeah, so the yellow one is more of an orange in, in my eyes, but in the camera, it might look a little bit different. Okay, this is a green one. It's not as green. Okay, and here we have the orange one. I'm just about to activate it, so here we go, so the orange one looks uh, a little bit like the red one, but you can slightly distinguish it. You can slightly see a little bit of more yellow. Okay, so these LEDs are water clear LEDs, so what these LEDs are, they work the same way as they do with other LEDs, except they're more brighter and add more material in it to make the colours more unique and um, stuff like that. Like I'll show you, like here we've got a blue one. so. The blue LED has more has different um ingredients than the uh than the other standard LEDs because the standard LEDs mainly are made out of the same material. I forgot material, but they have gallium, phosphorus, and stuff like that. But this one has I think this one has gallium, phosphorus, and indium, which makes the dye a little bit of a bluey makes it a blue dye. So it's a dye that makes it emit blue light. So these LEDs are unique. This one, this one's a water clear one. But this one is probably made out of the same material as all the other standard LEDs, except this one's in a water clear casing, so yeah. And this one is probably more of a yellowy green. It's actually not really um, green as you see in the camera, so it's a little bit uh, different. So my LEDs don't dim because I've been using this battery so many times, so yeah. So actually, these two LEDs have different ingredients in it. So yeah, these are water clear LEDs. They, they come in also different sizes as well. Okay guys, you may be thinking like this is an ordinary LED, but this one is apparently a flashing LED. So as you can vaguely see, I'll try to focus it. Um, that little black speck over there, that is a little integrated circuit inside that makes it, I, I don't know if it's a 555 timer or all that, but it's an integrated circuit that makes the LED flash. So it fits it right in the, that's why the, like the leads are a bit different. So they look like equals like those plates inside the LED look a bit different than usual anyway so if you activate this it flashes like um, 2 hertz per second or flashes twice a second or something like that so yeah they're reasonably not that bright they're just as dim as those ordinary um, LEDs that I just showed you earlier so all these ones are just um, flashing LEDs so yeah this LED over here, this one is actually an infrared LED. You cannot very, you cannot see it with the human eye unless if you're in a very, very dark room and point it very close to your eyes. You can just see it very vaguely, see a very um, tinge of um, fluff of cloud of red or something like that. It's the way I'm explaining. So you actually don't see very much at all. You just see it basically as red, but the frequencies are slightly different. Like it's more in the 800 nanometers of wavelength. So we, our eyes can't really distinguish it. Our rods like can't pick them up and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's what this type of wavelength is above 700 nanometers. So anything above 700, greater than 700 nanometers is able to see that type of light. But anyway, this one's good for infrared remote controls. 
and stuff like that. So yeah, as you can see here, this one is an infrared photodiode. It is shaped like an LED, but it's a little bit different. It's more of a transistor shape um, than most LEDs. So as you can see, um, it has it's an infrared photodiode. It's sim it, a little bit like a phototransistor, but I don't know the difference. They basically do the same thing. Like right over here, I have an infrared phototransistor. So this one does not emit light. This one receives it and allows other LED. And like when it receives light, it functions something like that. Like if you make a circuit, and if you put this, and if any infrared light goes in there, it'll just like work as a phototransistor. So other than that, it's not good. And we also have an infrared um, receiver. Basically, uh, infrared receiver can. This is very sensitive to infrared, so about, f but it can detect like only f 30, 36 hertz of frequency of the blinking of the infrared LED. So, so with this component, as you can see, these are used in almost anything like televisions, DVD players, any like um, console that has a remote control and stuff like that. So if you can click on, click on the video to how to make one, just click the link below. And so yeah, and I'll tell you more about them. Okay guys, so two color LEDs, so they're also called bi-LEDs. So what these are is each pin, um, the middle is a cathode and the two of them as the anode. So if I use a battery, it emits a red light. And in, if I do, it emits a green light so and if I could do them all together it appears to be an orange color the reason why it's orange it could have been if it's if, if this battery was like um fully charged or it was like full it could have been like more of a yellowish color but it takes a little bit more current to um, run green LEDs and red LEDs so because red LEDs take less because I think it's because the frequency is a little bit lower than the green LEDs but anyway I'm a bit too technical this one is pretty much the same, but except it's a 3mm one. Okay, and about this one, this is also known as an RGB LED. To tell if this one's a middle, you um, you look at the inside of it, and the large plate um, is like the known as a cathode, and all the, the others are the anode and the cath. And this one emits three different colours, so apparently um, this green one is apparently a, is like a different uh, material. Uh, oh, I get confused. There we go. So this green one, these one, these LEDs are reasonably very bright as well. So that's why this one, it, I I bought this for six dollars. This why it was pretty expensive to buy. So anyway, um, this LED is like actually bright green. Like this is not like a yellowish green. Like this is just a pure green color. Like this dye is like um, probably like the same materials I use as blue LED. Plus this one has a blue LED. I'll show you the blue LED. Um, Oh yes, this is a blue LED right over here. It's it's more of a it's a blue LED. It looks more, in the camera for some reason it looks more purple, but oh that if I combine those together, it makes an aqua LED. See so you, you see like the magnified the blue side and the green side, so it looks a little bit different. So apparently the and now we have the red LED. This one is super. This LED, uh, red LED, is so bright that in the camera it actually looks more or, more of an orangey LED. But it's actually, in in my eyes, it's actually very bright red. So, so yeah, this is how super bright. So like these are like, this is like a very high power bright red LED. And the red pigments, red dye is the same as all the other dyes. They like, yeah. So the red LED. So that's why, yeah. So that's my LED collection for so far. Oh yes, and I forgot one thing. I also had a bipolar LED. So what a bipolar LED is is like a double color, a two color LED with two pins. Like if you put the, if you change the polarity of them, it'll turn green, and if you change the polarity for the other side, it'll turn red. Sadly, I don't have it with me. I lost it or something like that. It's all gone missing. So anyway, so I can't show you what it's like, but I think you understand what it's like. So, here's my interesting LED videos for today, so I hope you enjoyed them, and plus, I could not tell you how many shapes and sizes of LEDs are there. There are lots. So anyway, thank you for watching.